you have to fight against that at all, or, or is it? And are you using that as an in addition to get you juiced up? Um, no, I mean we try to treat every game the same. Um, you know, Miami's a good good opponent. We know we're gonna have to come out and play well to beat them. Um, so we're just trying to lock in this week and you know focus and get get ready for the game. Um, we treat every game the same. We're trying to you know we we have respect for all our opponents. So I don't think that's a thought process. What have you seen from Miami that poses a bit of a challenge to you guys? Uh, the skill players are phenomenal. Um, I, I can't remember the receivers' numbers, but they have, they have a few that can can or electric can make plays. Uh, Thirteen. He's a physical back. Uh, he gets his feet moving. It's hard to bring down. Uh, they have a young quarterback, um, but so do we. Uh, we saw both of them make mistakes, but they were both kind of able to make things happen as well. So uh, up front, uh, I want to say they have two young tackles, two young tackles that are playing, and uh, Florida's D line obviously got after them with with their ten sack performance. So I'm expecting them to be a lot more improved than they um, than they showed in the first game. But we all, we also be able to show that um, when we play when we, <clears throat> we were also able to show against South Carolina that we can get after it as well. So we plan on stepping forward and continue to do that. Something uh, Coach Langer has been working with you on before you you know go into Miami, keying in on the defense that they're going to throw at you. Uh, a lot we've been working on is just uh, knowing when they're blitzing. You know they bring a lot of pressure in that defense. So we've been looking at a lot of their uh, blitzes, things like that, and also just staying calm in the pocket. Uh, you know, in the first game, I uh, moved around a little too much, like I said, so just staying calm back there.